Hello, welcome to Pact Publishing. Let me begin by saying a big thank you for signing up to our AWS Certified SysOps Administrator Associate SOAC01 Intensive course. This course is intended for individuals who need to demonstrate technical expertise in deployment, management, and operations on AWS. This course will help you understand how to design, deploy, manage, and troubleshoot core AWS services, follow best practices and methodologies in ensuring a highly available, fault-tolerant, scalable, and secure AWS environment for your business. In addition, this course is designed for the latest update to the AWS exam for the SysOps Administrator Associate Certification. By taking this course, you will be well prepared to pass the AWS Certified SysOps Administrator Associate exam with ease. Let me introduce myself. My name is Rajesh and I'm a Senior Solutions Architect and AWS Instructor for Pact Publishing. I've worked in the IT industry for the last 20 years and have extensive hands-on experience with AWS, which involved designing and delivering end-to-end -end enterprise solutions for clients across the globe. I now focus on delivering online and on-site corporate training programs on AWS for clients across the US, the UK, and India. Okay, let's start off with a course overview and take a look at exactly what this course covers. This course is designed for the AWS Certified SysOps Administrator Associate Certification. Here's what we'll learn. In section one, we'll cover the AWS platform and we'll complete a certification overview. You will also learn how to set up your environment to benefit from the rest of this course. In section two, we'll look at our first domain, which is monitoring and reporting, where you'll learn how to design AWS monitoring, logging, and alerting services to help you manage your AWS environment more effectively, ensuring a highly available, fault-tolerant, and performance-enhanced operations in the cloud. Section three covers high availability, which focuses on how to design cloud solutions that are highly available, incorporating components of scalability, elasticity, and fault tolerance to ensure maximum availability and minimum downtimes. In section four, we'll take a look at compute services on the AWS platform and learn how to troubleshoot your EC2 instances, assign EC2 roles, and work with user data and metadata. Section five covers databases. You will learn all about AWS managed database services, their use cases, and how to design for scalability and fault tolerance. Section six is all about deployment and provisioning, where we understand the core concepts related to application deployment, provisioning, and management. We learn how to identify and remediate deployment issues. In section seven, we'll move on and take a look at automation and optimization. You learn how to deploy repeatable, predictable, and highly effective applications using AWS automation tools and services. We'll learn how to avoid issues related to the configuration drift and ensure fast turnaround times for your business applications. In section eight, we'll look at storage and data management. We'll learn how to design backup and disaster recovery solutions for various AWS services. We'll also learn how to incorporate storage and migration solutions to manage your data effectively in the cloud. In section nine, we'll move on to security and compliance, where you will learn how to design AWS solutions with security in mind, which is crucial to any successful deployment. You'll learn about the AWS Compliance Program and the Shared Security Model, the AWS Identity and Access Management Services, as well as services like CloudTrail, WAF, Shield, Inspector, and the fundamentals of EC2 infrastructure security. Finally, in Section 10, we'll learn how to design, build, and maintain networking and connectivity features on AWS, and we look at best practices to ensure high levels of security, reliability, and fault tolerance. So what are the prerequisites you actually need to pass this exam? Well, there are actually no formal prerequisites as per the exam blueprint. However, there are some recommendations that we definitely do make. These include the following. Ideally, you would have a minimum of one year's hands-on experience with AWS. Rest assured that the labs that we cover in this course will give you a lot of hands-on exposure. You would have also had experience of managing and operating systems on AWS. You have an understanding of AWS tenants and concepts related to architecting for the cloud. You have hands on experience with using the AWS CLI, SDKs, and API tools. We do cover an introduction to the CLI service in this course. 
you have an understanding of networking technologies as they relate to AWS, you should have an understanding of security concepts with hands-on experience in implementing security controls and compliance requirements. And here again, we provide a lot of in-depth concepts that you can study in order to prepare for the exam. So the actual exam consists of multi-choice and multi-answer question formats. The multi-choice generally come with four answer options where you need to select one correct answer. And in the multi-answer question formats, usually you might get anything between five or six answer options and you would need to select two. You have 65 questions usually in the exam. This may vary. You have 130 minutes in which to complete the exam. The exam is available in English and Japanese and the minimum passing score is 720 out of 1000. Right guys, let's embark on this AWS certification journey together and I'll help you ace the AWS Certified SysOps Administrator Associate Exam with ease.